Okay, welcome everybody. Here we are for some yoga today. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with some meditation. Go ahead and have a seat. And you want to sit nice and comfortably, but you want to sit up nice and tall, working your posture. One thing I always uh, like to let you know is if you work your posture the whole hour, a lot of times that really kind of kicks into your rest of your day. So just think about your posture this whole hour for 45 minutes, and then you'll uh, probably have better posture the rest of the day too. So go ahead and open the chest, take some nice deep breaths, breathing deep in the belly. Just really letting go, relaxing the whole body. Try to inhale for about five seconds and exhale for five seconds. Keeping the breath down deep in the belly. Good. Give me two more nice deep breaths and then we'll open up here. All right, well, let's go ahead and scoot up here. I don't know if you can hear it, but we got some pretty angry crows out the window here. I'm not sure if you can hear that on the microphone. But something's going on. We have these berries right on the trees right out the window here. And the crows really get on the berries quite a bit. other direction. Good, inhale, reach up, lift the chest, breathe deep in the belly. Good, do a little twisting here, looking to the side. Take a deep breath in and back to center and other side. Good, and then we're gonna do mountain pose, palms facing out. We're gonna really focus on posture today, kind of tuck the hips under. So you don't wanna arch your back either. So what you do is you get really good and straight and then kind of tuck your hips under so that you kind of flatten out your back a little bit. We'll do this standing too. It's even easier to work that. And we can see it from the side. So lift the chest, but also kind of try to flatten that back out. So all you're really doing is kind of engaging these muscles in the front. Take a couple deep breaths, pull the head back.
Good, and then we're gonna point this foot that way and the other foot straight ahead. Reach down and then reach up. Looking back behind you, opening up the chest. One more big breath. And then we'll do a reverse warrior, reaching up, looking at the hand. Good, and then go ahead and relax. We'll just come back to center. Do some twisting, ring it out. Look in the direction you're going. Lots of makes you dizzy. Okay, so let's go ahead and face this way now, or put the foot this way and put the other foot that way. Then we're gonna reach down. Triangle, reaching up, looking back behind you. Take a couple deep breaths. And then we'll do a reverse warrior. Excellent. Back to center. Push out, curve your back. And we'll take a deep breath in, go to the side. Exhale, back to center. Deep breath in, other side. Exhale, center. Good. Reach back, grab the chair, lift the chest, scoot up if you need to. And take some breaths in the chest now. Reaching out, stretching the shoulder. And other side. And twist scenes next. I'm gonna push up behind me here, make my posture and then twist. Other side, push up, twist. Okay, so let's do one more seated stretch. We're gonna do the cross leg stretch. If you like, you can you can cross the legs low at the ankles. That's better for you. But keep your back nice and straight and just lean forward, stretching the hips out. Good. 
Good. Now relax your back and just kind of more stretching your lower back here. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch sides. Lower high, either way. Back straight. And relax, stretch that lower back. Yeah. I was just noticing if you put your elbows right there, you can see it from the side here. If you put your elbows there, kind of stretches that lower back when you put your arms down even more. All right, so let's go ahead and stand up. We're gonna start with a dancing warrior. We'll start with each of the warrior poses and then we'll go through them as a flow sequence. So put your right leg out and your left leg points forward. Make sure your stance is pretty deep. Reaching up with warrior one, taking some nice deep breaths. Feel the belly stretching. Good, and then we'll go to warrior two. So just a couple breaths for each of these and then we'll flow through it. So this one, you're gonna relax the shoulders. Make sure the head is right over the spine. Everything's in line. You're not gonna lean forward and then even pull the head back if anything. Take a couple breaths. Good, and then we go to triangle. Reaching down, reaching up and back, looking back behind you and take a couple breaths. And then relax, straightening the right leg, reaching up with the right hand. And looking up and back, taking some deep breaths. Good, now we'll just shake it out a bit. And here we go, we're gonna flow through it. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale to warrior two. So you wanna coordinate the breath and the body. Inhale, so I'm gonna move as slow as I breathe. I'm sorry, inhale the triangle. And then exhale, reverse warrior. But you try to keep your pace the same as your breath. As I inhale or exhale, I'm just going to move at the same rate. Okay, so relax, shake it out. So try that now. So we're going to move a little slower, about five seconds for the whole movement. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale the triangle. And exhale, reverse warrior. Good, shake it out a little bit. Everybody breathes differently. And that's why it's not always good to just follow right along with me. Uh, what I want you to do is get inside yourself a little bit and do it at your own pace. We'll all meet uh, at this one, at the final one.
Okay. So here we go at your own pace. Whoever goes the longest wins. And relax, shake it out a little bit more. And of course you wouldn't want to slow it down so much that you're like getting lightheaded and stuff. So kind of make it, ra stay rational about all of this. Don't push yourself too much. Go ahead and try one more round, but really try to slow the breath down, coordinate it with your movement. But make it feel good. Don't make it feel labored or anything like that. We'll all meet at the end. And relax. Good. Let's go up and down on the balls of the feet. Kind of shake it out. Give yourself a hand. Give yourself some taps all over. We've done this before in the past, but basically you're just trying to wake your body up a little bit. You're going to slap it all over the place. And you've done this before. You know, you wake up and you're like, oh man, got to get going. Wake yourself up that way before. Maybe not all the time, huh? Yeah, it's kind of some of these things are natural and we do them, but we don't really think about how we do them. But we've done this like, oh yeah, gotta wake that thing up. Almost there. About 30 seconds. And it does vitalize the get the muscles going a little bit. Get the energy going. Okay, so let's try the warrior two on the or warrior flow on the other side. Starting with warrior one. Stepping out, reaching up. Take a couple deep breaths here. Think about making your breaths nice and long and slow. And then warrior two. Notice that my stance is wide enough so that my knee's right over my ankle. Gaze me past your fingertips. Take two breaths. And then we go to triangle. It's pretty much drawing a straight line with the arms and then reaching or looking back at the hand. And relax, straighten the front leg, reverse warrior. Taking two more breaths. Think about reaching up to the ceiling, not so much bending back and crunching everything, but Extending up the back. And relax. Good. Just kind of shake. Here we go. We're going to flow through it. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, triangle. And exhale, reverse warrior. Good, and let's go ahead and just get right into on your own. Go ahead and try to practice it on your own. Reaching up. We will all meet at the final move.
and relax. Good. So this next time, let's try to make the exhales longer. And so the moves that are our exhale moves, uh, we'll make them a little longer and slower as well. Okay, so the inhale here, go ahead. Oh, we'll do it together. Inhale. Now exhale for seven seconds here. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Remember though, you don't want to get lightheaded or anything like that. So do your best to be rational. All right, so let's go ahead and shake it out and do it on your own as long and slow, fast and slow as you like to, okay? Make it feel natural. We'll all meet at the end. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and rotate here. That's a good one that you could do on your own. If you miss the class or want to do more yoga throughout the week. Uh, the Dancing Warrior. And you can do any style of breathing that feels best for you. Slow, fast, however it feels good. So let's go to, back to that mountain pose that we did earlier. Uh, we're going to have the feet about hip, hip width apart, palms face out, and then pull those shoulders back and down. Now, if you have your thing on so you can see yourself in the camera too, you might notice, you see, you want to get that, take that arch out. So don't arch too much like this. What you want to do is get solid like that and then, then tuck your hips underneath. So you're actually tightening in here. And then I'll flatten everything out a little bit. So a lot of times when we do this, we'll just arch it out. But what you want to do is get that other part of your core activated too. So the whole thing is activated. Take two breaths. Good, and then we'll go to downward dog. Have your chair there. You can always do a full downward dog if that's what you like to do. Um, with the seniors, it's not so recommended to take your head below your heart, especially if you have heart issues. You don't want to pass out or anything. That's why we, one of the reasons why we do it this way most of the time. And it just feels good. Not too hard. It's kind of nice and gentle. Take a couple breaths here. And back to center, next one's the cobra. We're just gonna have our feet back a little ways and let the hips just kind of come in a little. Now, you don't want too much on that. You don't wanna hurt the back or anything. And don't let your chair get away from you. Just kind of a nice gentle stretch. Stretching the front as well as a little bit of the back. Good, walk your feet in a tad bit, and we're going to uh, bend the knees slightly. That'll curve your back, and we're gonna do a cat pose. Just hold there for a couple breaths. All right, so let's go ahead and try doing some, we'll do like a standing bird dog. 
You often do this on your hands and knees. What we're going to do is we're going to put the opposite elbow and knee together, and then you're going to reach out and back. Knee and elbow, out and back. I'll show you from the front too. So see, we're contracting all these muscles back in here. A lot of yoga is about core, working those really localized core muscles. And then we could hold that. Could even be a balance. We got the opposite arm and leg this time. Do what you can. And relax. Let's try the other side. Elbow, opposite elbow, opposite knee, and then reach. Little hold each spot. That's a good stretch, too. It stretches the hips. All right, let's try to hold that. Feel it in there. And relax. Rotate the hips around. <laughs> Other direction. All right, so we're going to keep working balance exercises. Start with tree pose next. See if you can turn this out from here. Now, if you like, you could bring the leg in and out. Just kind of see what you can do. Balancing. And pulling it in and out. Also working the glute muscles every time you open up. When you close, you're working the inner thighs. Couple more. And hold it, try to pull that out. And relax. Good, I'm gonna go ahead and switch sides here. And tree pose the other side. Do what you can do first. Good posture. And then try the in and out. And this could just be the foot on the ground, pivoting. Do that too. Okay, a couple more. You can have the hand here if you need. Good, now open up real, real big. Take a couple breaths. And relax. So that works the ankles a little bit. So we'll rotate these knees. Now we'll rotate the ankles. Let them relax. Other direction. And then up to the balls of the feet. We'll, we'll follow the hands with the eyes. So right hand, look at it, 
and back. Left hand. And just be careful. Do what's best for you. Just keep alternating. Looking up at the corner. One more each side. I'll work your shoulders after a while. And relax. Good. Let's go ahead and stretch the shoulders a little bit. Grab the opposite arm with the hand. You just grab the arm from the other one. Pulling across. Take the ear to shoulder. Try to stretch this way. Everything goes to the side. And then other side. And then let's stretch the calves. We'll go to a bow and arrow stance. So just put the one leg forward, come to heart center. Push into the heel. And the more you kind of lunge into it, the more you'll stretch the back of your leg there. Try to keep your posture, everything straight up and down. And other side. You want to be wide enough so your knee is right over your ankle. So if you want to go deeper, sometimes you got to step forward. Otherwise, it goes, see how the pressure ends up going right on the knee. You don't want to do that really in any instance. Keep that foot ahead. Take a couple breaths. All right, feet together, side to side. Try to reach towards your knee, feet fairly together. Take ear to shoulder as well, and just go really slow. Try to get some good stretch. And then reach up and over, take your hips, this way while your hand goes that way. But reach up to the corner of the room so you raise yourself up. And other side, reach up to the top corner of the room. And next is a chest stretch. You're gonna put your hands like this, like they're in your back pockets and pull the elbows back, open the chest. All right, very nice job. Let's go ahead and have a seat. And uh, we'll go ahead and finish with some seated stretching. I think I'm gonna start with the foot out first. So I'll show you here from the side. One leg out, toes up. 
You want to be on the edge of your seat. Take a deep breath in and stretch the back of that leg. Start with the back nice and straight and just take your chest to your toes. Good, and then if you can, go ahead and grab that toe. You could do it with both hands. That's fine too, but you don't wanna lean forward too far. Kind of stretch that toe back. Just if you can. Now, if you can't do that, grab the back of the leg. See how far you can reach there. Good, now from here, what we wanna do, we're gonna actually stretch the shoulder. Uh, push with your foot, if you, can, if you can grab that foot. If you don't have a foot, you know, um, well, you probably got a foot, but if you don't have a foot, then you could use a towel uh, or a rag and just grab the rag and put it around there. You can put it around and hold it with one hand. But what we're doing here now is we're gonna push with the toes and pull the shoulder. This is my own stretching that I made up using a body part to pull the other body part. Never seen anything like it before. But hopefully you feel in the shoulder and you see, it's hard to see, but I'm pulling by pushing with my foot. So if you have a towel, you can really practice that. Uh, let's try the other side. I'm sure somebody's probably got a name for this or whatnot. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's ever done it, but you're using the body part to pull the, the shoulder. Let's start with, um, let's start with the chest back straight. So we'll go back to this for this side. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides if you have it. And just lean into it first, stretching those leg muscles. Good, and then relax your back and still just kind of stretch your back out a little bit. I'll get my band. You can use the band, but you don't want to, uh, you don't want to have it slip off and hit you in the face. So I recommend a towel. Uh, probably should just get a towel or I'll have one close by. So I'll go with this. Um, so if you can't grab your toe, let's go ahead and try this now. Grab the toe or get your band there. Uh, band's probably not going to work very well. Probably a bad idea. But when you push it, it'll. It'll probably be all right, I guess. Pushing with my foot now and pulling my arm. Once again, a towel is better. You hit yourself in the face, it's not my fault. And relax. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and do some rotations. I'll show you another example of this stretching idea. So you go like this and you rotate. Looking back behind you. And the other side, a lot of these are shoulder stretches. Well, actually go back to the side that we were on. Um, now, what you'll do is, if you wanna do that same kind of stretching where you're stretching your shoulder now, what you do is push out with your leg here. Push the leg out, but make sure everything's super tight. You know, everything's tight, the posture's good, and then pull out with the leg. And then you'll feel a stretch in the back of that shoulder with the leg pulling your arm.
one more breath. And other side. So you hold here, start with a twist, just, just push yourself around. So see, this is stretching the core, twisting the core, stretching all the muscles in the abdominal area. Then relax on that a little bit and pull with your leg now. So pull the arm across. So the only tension is right here on the hand, letting this relax so that the leg can pull the arm around. and relax. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And then put, pull in your knee here. This is an example of where I think that we do this naturally. So you can first pull in and stretch the leg, the back of the leg. But, you want to stretch your shoulders, you can kind of pull the knee out. And we do this a lot. We've done this before. We're kind of, this is kind of pushing that way. It's kind of pulling my arms and my back a little bit. I think that's one we kind of naturally get. All right, let's try the other side. Take a deep breath in and other side, pull in the leg. You technically should pull in here behind the leg, but that doesn't work as well for my traditional new exercise that we're doing. But you don't want to put a bunch of pressure on the, the joint. So let's have it down low is all. I think we're okay. And then go ahead and push out, stretch it, stretch the uh, body out a different way. And just pushing with the leg, giving those shoulders and back a good stretch. All right, good deal. Let's go ahead and finish with some meditation and then we'll close up. So get nice and tall, good posture. Hopefully you've been thinking about it all the whole 45 minutes. And you can think about it a little more the rest of the day. Posture is the kind of thing you just gotta keep thinking about and eventually it'll start becoming incorporated into your life even more. So take some deep breaths here, get nice and relaxed. Enjoy your breathing. Good, taking two more deep breaths and then we'll close up. Good, open your eyes, coming to heart center. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. Namaste. Thanks for joining me once again, everybody, as we venture on to new stretches and great posture. Enjoy the day. <laughs>